Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Stadium 2. Here at the Gym Leader Castle, the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. Last time we took down the Elite Four and Lance. And now we'll be starting the uh, Kanto Gym. Z. So there are four uh, for each video, and uh, yeah, so we're going to do the bottom four this time. It's going to include Brock, Misty, uh, Lieutenant Surge, and Erica. And uh, we can select an each team or a team for each of these guys. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll use this team for this one. So uh, each of these gyms only have the one trainer. And so we'll be starting off with Brock. As you can see, his team uh, quite good. He's got Steelix there, Rhydon, Ursaring. Got Heracross, Slowbro for coverage and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good times. Uh, yeah. The challenger faces Brock, Pewter's gym leader. I hope the challenger will go with Brock with Brock hard determination. Wow, the puns. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna lead our face. And, uh, yeah, let's see who he starts with. He's gonna lead with Ursaring. Uh, this Ursaring is not the greatest stats, or not really moves, I guess. It has Slash, Rollout, Defensive Curl, and Focus Energy, so I'm not at all even concerned about this thing. I am going to lead off with the Reflect, get that thing up. Oh, it's also holding a Mint Berry, which I believe cures Sleep. So he uses focus energy, and that's going to raise his critical hit chance uh, by two stages. So that's not good. That reflect then is not going to do anything, as it'll be nullified by a critical. Anyway, this Earthring is going to be able to uh, withstand a couple of these psychics. It goes for the defense curl, and uh, defense curl and rollout have a combo. When you use defense curl, it's going to double rollout's power for its entire duration meaning that it'll start out at 60, then jump to 120, then jump to uh, 240, then 480, and then finally 960 power, which is just insane. Uh, luckily, he keeps going for defensive curl, so he's not even going to do anything. So Brock proving to be joke mode with his first Pokemon not doing anything. Yeah, okay, anyway, we'll move on to his next Pokemon now. And it is Heracross. This thing is going to be scary because it's going to just dominate my uh, guy. So hopefully I can take it out with a Psychic. This Heracross with moves Counter, Reversal, Megahorn, and Earthquake. I think this will KO even through the Reflect, but I actually survive. I am quad four weak to it. And uh, we're both going to survive there. His special defense does go down, and my Reflect, unfortunately, wears off. He's also holding on to the Focus Band. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that come into play here. Anyway, this will finish me off if it hits, which it does. So poor Executor, no chance. And, uh, yeah, who should we go into? I guess we'll go into Patrick. Ready to go. Oh, it's sorry. One Pokemon is still capable uh, we can just of use Psychic as well. And, uh, see how this goes. Take down the Heracross, and now Brock is down to his last Pokémon. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Steelix. And it in fact is Steelix. So his Onyx is now evolved into Steelix. And uh, yeah, the Steelix is pretty scary. So hopefully this will work out here with the moves Rock Slide, Earthquake, Return, and Fisher. So he can definitely hit some one-hit KO moves. It's also holding the Scope Lens, so... Uh, you know, extra damage there. And it is going to go for Fisher. 
and it hits. So this poor Starmine is going to go down to that Fisher after Steelix was able to barely hold on. Both of these Pokemon are pretty slow, so I'm actually kind of scared here. I'm pretty sure I'll be a bit faster, though, and I definitely am. And this Earthquake will eliminate Steelix. And with that, we'll move on to the next gym, which I believe is Misty. So here we go. Misty. And she obviously is the water trainer, so uh, we don't really have any electric Pokemon on my team, so yeah. Well, actually, yes, I guess we do. Okay, right, I'll use this team. She's not fully water, though. In fact, I think she only has two water types. So, here we go. She's got a pretty good-looking team. That poor Dragonair, though. I don't really know what the deal with that is, but oh well. Uh, obviously, she's going to use Starmie at some point, so... You know, I don't really have anything. Well, yeah, I do. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll use those guys. Sorry, that took forever. I was just like, who do I want? The Rulian Jim's Misty is up to the challenge. The heat of the battle is sure to turn the water attack from her water Pokemon into steam. So we're going to lead off with Nemo. First time seeing Nemo here at uh, level 100. With a very impressive health pool of 453. And she's going to lead off with her ace Pokemon, Starmie. Starmie with the moves Rain Dance, Surf, Thunder, and Psychic. She, uh... She, all of her Pokemon have Rain Dance to begin with. And they will use it to keep Rain up the entire fight. So we're just going to lead off with the Thunder Wave on this thing, slow it down, that's Starmie's big power is that it's incredibly fast. Uh, Starmie is holding the King's Rock as well for those flinches, so that's going to nullify our item there with the Thunder Wave. And Starmie's going to be able to live, uh, but it is fully paralyzed, so things are working out quickly here. And her ace Pokemon will go down already. Oh, she called me stupid. I feel bad now. Or sad. One of the two. Anyway, she goes into Wigglytuff with the moves Rain Dance, Thunder, Ice Beam, and Double Edge. It is also holding the Quick Claw. So, yeah. So I'm actually quicker, so this might have been a waste of a turn. But I am going to go for the Thunder Wave there, get it paralyzed. That's Nemo's deal, is he paralyzes things. And I must be holding the Bright Powder, because he definitely went for Double Edge there, and it uh, missed. So an item coming into play for me. So everything is, seems to just be working out right now. And now she is confused and paralyzed. And she attacks herself in confusion. So that is freaking sweet. And she gets a quick claw proc here. But she's fully paralyzed. So we'll hit this with a surf. It does decent damage. It'll be a three-hit KO from where she's standing. And she's just going to keep going for double edge, and that's going to hit. And uh, that does, that's going to be a four-hit KO. 
and she's hit with some recoil damage, so that's that's nice. Wigglytuff will definitely go down on this next turn. And we can hit it with a Thunderbolt, and that'll be it for Wigglytuff. So now Misty is down to her last Pokémon. And uh, Dragonair is coming into play here. And that's a little unfortunate because Nemo, both of Nemo's attacks uh, are not uh, going to be effective against him. But I'm going to do the same thing that I did against the other guys. I'll get the Confusion and Paralyze on him. But it's actually holding a bitter berry. I should have looked at my notes there. Uh, it definitely has a bitter berry. It's also its other moves are of course Rain Dance, Surf, Thunder, and Ice Beam. So it doesn't really have anything super effective against me. It does have Thunder to be mid damage. So we're gonna confuse it again, and uh, it's gonna work out here because it's gonna be smacking itself in the face. And I'm almost certain it's going to go for the Thunder here. But I don't really have anything to take it. Ooh. Yeah, I have nothing super effective anyway. I'm just going to go for the Surf, get as much damage as I can. I know it'll be resisted, but it is Stab, and it's in the rain. So that's got to do some damage, right? Yeah, it's going to do about 100. She so goes for Thunder. Thunder will always hit in the rain, and it has a 30% chance to paralyze. So, that sucks. I'm going to go for my own Thunder Wave this turn, just to even the playing field. And Nemo's going to be able to keep taking those all day long. Not even worried. So we, uh, we whip out the Thunder Wave. We're now on even ground. I'll be quicker again. And we can take out this Dragonair in two more hits, I believe. This does 90 damage, we'll see. Oh, it does 91. It is confused no more. And unfortunately the rain stops, which is going to weaken my attack, so it won't take it out this turn. So we're going to hit it with a Surf. It will survive, and now it's going to go for a Surf. I don't know if this will KO. Yeah, it's definitely not going to. Nemo, pretty bulky, and Dragonair just doesn't have the greatest special attack. Plus, it's not Stab, and I resist it, so this will end the game right here. And we can move on to the Vermilion Gym, where we hope to have more fun times. We almost lose a Pokemon against Misty, but not quite. Brock was obviously a little bit harder. Misty last time, though, was really hard. And Brock was a joke. It just shows how things changed. Anyway, let's move on to Lieutenant Surge. And uh, for him, he's, what, a Lightning Trainer, right? So this is going to be no problem. I think we'll use this team right here. A double click is me getting my notes up, by the way. Trying to do it while in the same recording. Anyway, okay, electric Pokemon are the best. Something, something, do you have the rest? Alright, okay, anyway, here we go. Lieutenant Surge, his team, pretty balanced. He's got two pure lightning Pokemon. And then he's got a bunch of other crap. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, obviously he's going to have Raichu. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking here on who I want to use. I think I'll go with those guys. I sure hope so. Anyway, we're going to lead with Ali. And we'll see just how this goes. We'll see his choices. 
He's gonna lead with Victory Bell. Victory Bell holding the Miracle Berry with the moves Body Slam, Razor Leaf, Stun Spore, and Sludge Bomb. So it's a mixed attacker, but, uh, you know, it can handle pretty much anything. Anyway, we're just going to lead off with the cross chop. It is going to go for Sludge Bomb. I believe it only has a 10% chance to poison, maybe 30%. I could be wrong. Anyway, it does get the poison on me, so that kind of blows. I do hit the cross chop, and it is a critical, but uh, I didn't realize that grass is resistant to fighting. Maybe it's poison that's resistant to fighting. I don't know. Either way, we didn't KO it, and it's going to hit us with another Sludge Bomb. We're just going to go for Earthquake this time. That'll be neutral damage, and it should take it out. But it doesn't. It's able to hold on with a little HP, and that means he's going to be able to take down my Machamp unless I get some sort of proc here. And I don't... I don't... Yeah, I have the scope lens, so that's just not going to happen. So just like that, Machamp is down. And things are not looking great. So with the opponent weak, it is a great opportunity. And we're just going to go for the flamethrower. And we should be able to finish this thing off. That's going to definitely take down that victory bell. And that is just great. Man, is there somebody outside doing something? I don't even know. Anyway, so it sends out Dodrio. And uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon uh, with the scope lens. It's uh, got Tri-Attack, uh, Drill Peck, Steel Wing, and Pursuit. So it's got very good type coverage. But uh, so do we with our attacks. Of course, it is very fast. It will be going first here. Hits me with Tri-Attack. Does decent damage. No King can take it, though. He's got pretty good defenses. And we'll hit that thing with a Thunderbolt. That will be a solid two-hit KO. And it's going to go for Drill Peck this time. And that hits heavy. So, Nidoking taking it like a beast. And I'll finish off the Dojo this time. And now Surge is down to his last Pokemon. I'm assuming it's Raichu. I could be wrong. But it's Jolteon instead. So Jolteon with the moves uh, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, and Roar. I don't know what type of Hidden Power it is. I'm assuming it's something for coverage. But I'm sure it'll use it right now. And it is going to go for Hidden Power. It is super effective. So I'm assuming it's Water. In fact, I think it has to be Water. It could be Earth, I guess. But either way, the Jolteon is not going to be able to survive that Earthquake. Hidden power is just too... ...too weak to take down that Nidoking. So that's just not going to happen for him. And that's, uh, that's going to do it for Surge. And uh, we'll move on to the fourth trainer here. As quickly as we can. And it's going to be Erica, the Grass Trainer. So we're obviously going to want a team with Blaine in it. And we already used that team. Let's uh, we use that team too. All right, we'll do this one. Oops. Yeah, sorry. Tried to do it when it was just a black screen, but clearly that lagged. Anyway, so here we go. Got Erica's stats up. So Erica has very good coverage. It's also got that cool guy Marowak. So uh, we got to be careful of that. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So I think we'll lead with you. We can bring you in. I think that's a relatively good team. So she only has two grass Pokemon. Pokemon. 
So Erica going to lead off with Nine Tails. Nine Tails with the move Hypnosis, Body Slam, Iron Tail, and Flamethrower. She's also holding the uh, Bright Powder. So that's pretty scary. And that extreme speed does nothing. So it goes for Hypnosis, puts Blaine to sleep, and I'm like, ooh. That's too bad. So I'm going to switch out at this point because I don't really want to leave uh, sleeping Pokemon in. I don't want to let her do stuff. And she's just going to proceed to Body Slam. And that's going to do absolutely nothing to Kingdra. So this is great because I can just go for a Surf. And uh, amazingly enough, Ninetales is faster than me. That surprises me. I think there's pretty good base stats, very similar to Mew's and Celebi's. A little bit lower, obviously. And uh, there you go, you see that Bright Powder coming into play right off the bat as I miss Ninetales with the Surf. So it'll almost certainly get a Paralyze, but uh, it actually doesn't there, so that's... That's fortunate for me. Three attacks and uh, no Paralyze. Too bad for him. And uh, that Surf will not take out that Nine Tails. It's barely able to hold on. Which is rather unfortunate for me. Either way, it's going to continue to go for the Body Slam. Kingdra is starting to feel the effects as he's now nearly down to half health. And we'll finish off this thing with a Dragon Breath. But we miss again! Whoa! All of a sudden, that Bright Powder really paying off. Odds of it proccing two times in three attacks, uh, quite low. I believe it's one, or no, it's ten in 256, so about one in 25 for it to proc once. So multiply that, that's about one in 625 for that, or no, wait, that's less than that. One in 125 for that to happen if my math serves me correct. 25 times 25? No, it is 1 in 625. So that is nearly impossible. No, wait a minute. No, I'm right. Yeah. 1 in, 1 in 625 were the odds of that. No, in 3 times. So there's extra math involved. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm not a mathematician here, okay? The important thing is I miss twice, but then finish it off. So this Executor comes in, I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, the Executor, very similar to mine, with Psychic, Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, and instead of Reflect, it has Stun Spore. And it is also holding on to the Focus Band, so I wouldn't be surprised, the way things have been going, if we saw the Focus Band proc right now. But we don't, so Executor goes down, and Erica is now down to her last Pokémon. Her last Pokemon is... Blossom. Blossom with the moves Return, Razor Leaf, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. And I'm going to be quicker than it, so we should be able to finish off in two hits. Oh, Blossom is also holding the Quick Claw, but it's also very defensive apparently, and is going to be able to take a couple of those. It hits the return, it does little damage. I might be able to survive another one because of the leftovers. I don't know, we'll see here. Hit that thing with another Ice Beam, and it is going to survive. So now let's see if we can survive another return. It's going to be close. I am going to be able to hold on, so those leftovers really helping a brother out. And we can now finish it off with a Dragon Breath to, that's right, the face. And we even critically hit, which didn't matter. And that will do it for the first four Gym Leaders of the Kanto Gym Leader Castle here in Round 2.
So next time on this Let's Play, we'll take on the remaining four Kanto Gem Leaders. And, uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you come and uh, join us for uh, Sabrina, Koga, or no, Sabrina, Jasmine, Blaine, and, of course, Blue. So we will uh, see you guys then.